Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is February 12th. Uh, we've got the grain markets lower. Corn down about two cents right now. Beans falling about three and a half, uh, and wheat down about a half a cent. Um, a lot of a lot of talk still uh, looming right now around cancellations. Uh, there are these are only rumors, no confirmation yet. But uh, talks that Chinese uh, that China was unable to cancel about six to eight cargoes uh, due to exporters just not letting them uh, out of contracts. But now there's also talks of uh, are we going to see some further cancellations down the line? Um, as I mentioned, these are just rumors. We've not seen any cancellations just yet. Uh, but something that uh, if we do start seeing some cancellations, we could see some pressure on these bean on the bean markets. Um, something else, South America right now, uh, they are estimating about 6.2 million tons uh, already lined up for beans uh, through these through all Brazilian ports. Uh, this month of February, they're talking about a million, uh, maybe a million tons um, being shipped out. This is pretty good for them here, especially for this time of year. Uh, the question I guess you got to ask yourself is, are we starting to see, not really are, are we, but we, we have been seeing shifts uh, from hedging here or, or seeing some kind of buying in the U.S. We're seeing a lot more picking up here in, in South America. Probably going to see that continue. Uh, so watch out here on these beans um, here in the meantime. Uh, as far as corn, corn is down a couple cents. We know the USDA report gave us that surprise, uh, but we also have baseline numbers coming out from USDA tomorrow. So these numbers are going to be released. Now, a lot of guys are going to be watching this corn planting number, um, and what USDA has done the last few years is actually they've estimated low uh, on this, rep uh, on these numbers. So, uh, are we going to see some kind of surprise tomorrow? If so, that may give a little boost to corn. Um, you know, if these numbers do come out a little friendly. But overall, the, they have usually overstated their or understated their number. Um, so we'll see if that carries any weight as we get moving uh, into uh, into the into the weekend. Um, not a lot of news out there as far as wheat right now. Uh, we've seen that chopped ar chopping around. As I mentioned, we've got wheat down another half a s or down a half a cent here today. Um, but the stock market yesterday had a big jump, 190 point rally yesterday, down only eight points as of right now. Gold and silver working a little bit higher. Gold up about a buck, silver up seven cents, uh, and we've got the dollar right now working about 16 points higher as well. As far as cattle, 20 cents higher. Currently, uh, we've seen a strong move yesterday. A lot of talks uh, from this storm moving through the south and uh, giving a little boost here to the futures. We've not seen any cash trade just yet, uh, but box beef choice was down 202 uh, last night. Select down 85 cents. Uh, so we'll see what happens here as far as cash trade uh, if we give back some of the gains that we've recently seen. Uh, and hogs 30 cents higher. Uh, quiet day yesterday, sh down just a little bit, but uh, we have seen that uh, the cash index finding some support. Uh, we still have futures sitting above that cash, though. Something that continues to be talked about is this PED issue, uh, and that's going to give some support here from this June, uh, June hogs all the way June, August, and October. Um, we've seen these cases continue to climb. Uh, and it's going to be an issue here in the future. So we're seeing this premium being built in these back months. Uh, but uh, if you guys have any questions today, feel free to give us a call. You can reach us here, 800-262-7538, or check us out right on the web at allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow morning. Take care.